2010 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in San Mateo, California. We're talking with Robert Sissons from Evolution Suspension. Robert, take a moment and tell us about your background, please. Uh, grew up in the UK, been in California for about six years. We set up a, a suspension shop that turned into a full service shop. Now we do a few specials every once in a while. I like to tinker. All right, let's start from the beginning. Uh, what are you trying to accomplish with this build? Um, building it for a customer who had the basic bike and then we just kind of evolved from there. Just, it's taken us about four or five years just doing it in the spare time. Let's talk about the make and model of this bike. What did it start out as? Well, the, the only original piece of the bike is the frame and the tank, which is from an 89 GSXR 750. The motor is from an 1100 of the same year. The front end is from a 2005 GSXR 1000. The rear end is from a 2002 GSXR 1000. There's a Penske shock in the rear. The subframe and tailpiece are from a 2006 Yamaha R6 and then painted in satin black, a few custom brackets. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, tell us about the fabrication on this. Doing it all myself, just in a little, there's not too much fabrication, but headlight mount. Um, actually the biggest one is the welding in the subframe because the original subframe was bolted on, uh, welded on. So we've had to cut it off, remodel the front of the subframe for the R6 tail, weld that in. And then we also had to weld in a new top shock mount for the different rear end and make up a lot of spaces for, to make it fit. Let's talk about the front end now. We'll go to the front end. Uh, is there any modifications or was that just basically off of the uh, donor bike? It came off the donor bike, but it's been revalved and resprung to suit this bike. Plus we, we stripped the forks down completely and anodized all the aluminum parts black to give us this complete black look on the forks. And then there's, there's an LSL top triple clamp conversion to take the upright bars instead of clip on. Uh, how much time and cost was devoted in the engine? <laughs> the engine is actually still standard. Although it is running a Makuni, set of Makuni flat slide carbs. Anything, any changes in the back end other than off the donor bike uh, and the shock? Not really. Penske shock. We've gone for a big vortex rear sprocket. Um, how, yeah, about, about it. how about paint? Paint. What was, was your inspiration on that? Well, I wanted, I wanted to be, be simple, and I wanted to make everything on the bike either black or silver, aluminum. Um, so we had a, a customer who worked in a car shop, took it all the way, brought it back in this lovely satin black. So basically, the the only challenging aspect of the uh, paint was to let him do it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which companies were instrumental in getting the bike finished, or was this all yours? It was all our company. Um, say we, the show was coming up, we'd been building the bike for quite some time, and we had pretty much everything in place. So it gave us that last little push just to get it finished. Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Um, few people. I mean, Salvador, the painter, did a great job. Um, the owner, for being so patient. Um, Hi to Thatch, he's just got out of hospital yesterday, 
so this would be a nice present for him. Uh, I was going to thank my wife, Jane, because she works in the shop with me, and she gets to put up with all my bad moods <laughs> you know, when things don't quite go right. Well, Robert, thank you so much. You are welcome. <laughs>